<laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Hey cutie, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. What are we thinking about this new angle? I usually put my camera somewhere else while I do a get ready with me, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try like a front kind of angle today. Anyway, basically, I am in the process of getting ready for the lovely Amy's birthday party where she is going with a vampire and witches kind of theme. And I thought, you know what, I really, really, really want to try Jirai K makeup or at least a Jirai K inspired makeup. So yeah, I'm just really, really excited. And this is a very spontaneous video. I didn't quite expect to film today. So I apologize if it's all over the place but you know me I mean when have things ever been organized around here without further ado let's go time to start with the base actually before we do that let's put this fringe back so that it is out of the way so that is, is, is kind of messy there's a bit sticking out but it's fine it's out of the way for the base I am going to be using this primer. I'm not sure how I feel about this primer because it is very fragranced um, but I hate waste so I'm really glad that I only got a small bottle so that I can just quickly get it out of the way and try another primer but yes let's put this on. I'm not usually one for fragrance products especially on my face because I've got very sensitive skin and yeah I don't I don't know why I bought this one but Hey ho, let's just put it on and stop complaining. Now that that is on, I'm just gonna let it dry. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna crack on and put on some mascara. Now I know this is an unusual, um, what do you call it, like routine or, anyway, you don't normally put on mascara right now, do you? But I am doing it because my eyelashes are pretty much non-existent, so it needs all the help it can get. If I put on a layer of mascara now, um, it will give it a bit more oomph when I need to do it again later after I do my eye makeup. Mascara is done, it's very messy, but it's done, so don't look too closely. But now we are going to move on to the foundation. The foundation, well, it's not really a foundation, it's a CC cream, but the one that I'm using is this one from IT Cosmetics. It is such a good foundation, especially if you've got really dry and sensitive skin, because it's really thin, and what I like to do is just slowly build up the layers, which is really nice because it makes me feel like my skin can breathe a little bit better than when I put on foundation. I do have some blemishes, so I'm going to go over them with a concealer, and the concealer that I'm using is this one from NYX in the shade CW02. Time to blend with this sponge. Time to set everything with a um, finishing powder. I've got this one from NYX, which I'm not really too sure about because it does leave a, like a kind of white thing. So I'm just gonna have to really blend it out with my makeup sponge. If you do have any finishing powder recommendations, especially for those with dry and sensitive skin, please let me know in the comments below. Gosh, I just had like a little brain fart moment. Like I can't remember, do I normally put the finishing powder on? before my contour or after my contour? I honestly can't remember, but in this instance we've put, we've put it on before. I am going to very lightly contour my face and then we can move on to the eyebrows and then on to the more exciting part, which is the eye makeup. Here is my contour palette. As you can see, it is very well loved. I should probably get a new one soon, but it's um, Sculpt and Glow, by Revolution Pro in the shades Sands of Time.
let's sort out these awful eyebrows. So I'm actually going to be trying out a new um, eyebrow pencil today. And the main reason I got this one was because it was cheap. <laughs> but it's this one by... I'm not even too sure what the brand is, but we'll soon find out when we open the packaging. If I can actually get into it, that is. That was not helpful. One eternity later. Oh, come on. Okay, right. What is this? Oh, it's from Elf. Right, let's first brush these into a better shape and then we can fill them in. You know, for an eyebrow print pencil that was super cheap, this one's actually really good. Now, I am actually thinking of going over my eyebrows with my eyebrow mascara that I usually do for my ghetto makeup. And the eyebrow mascara that I always, always put on is this heavy rotation one. This is one that I highly recommend if you're into ghetto makeup, especially if you have dark eyebrows like I do. However, today I'm not going to put on as much as I usually do. Now it's time for the most exciting part, which is the eye makeup. So I'm going to be popping some photos on the screen so that you can get the idea of the general kind of vibe that I'm going for. So Jirai K is famously known for the massive eye bags, which are also called Egyosel. Oh my goodness, why can't I think of how to say it? But in um, Japanese, it's called Nameda Bukuro. It's basically these really big eye bags. It's actually really, really, really cute. They usually go for more pink colors to make them look like as if they're crying or they've cried recently. But I think this time I'm going to go for red because I want to create that vampire kind of look. The main eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using is this one by Revolution and it's called Forever, Di Forever Dynamic Dynasty. Dynasty? For Dynasty or Dynasty? I can't remember. But we've got these gorgeous colours in it. So lots and lots of lovely red colours, as well as some shimmery ones, but I'm going to stick mainly with the red ones. But what I really want to do is actually use more of um, like brown eyeshadows on the top and then just the reds purely on the bottom. So I'm also going to use this other eyeshadow palette. And yep, it is another one from Revolution. Honestly, most of the makeup that I wear is by Revolution or Revolution Pro or I Heart Revolution, you know, the, the revolution basically. And this nude palette is um, by Revolution and it's called Reloaded and it says Iconic 3.0. Don't know if that means anything, but hey ho, that's the name of the product. Let's start with something kind of neutral first and then we'll work our way into the darker colors. Right, as I said, let's start with a very neutral brown color. And we're going to use this brown to go to cover the whole top lid. Then we're going to use a darker brown colour just on the outer corners. Right, it's time for the part that I'm actually quite nervous about, which is the Namida Bukuro, because I don't usually do that in my girl makeup so I'm worried that it might turn out to be a mess but hey ho the worst that could happen is that I'll just have to redo my makeup. To create the shape of Namida Bukuro I'm going to take a very thin brush with the darkest red colour and do all the shading. I'm going to take the same red but um, just gently shade in from the outer corner. To do the highlight part of things, I'm going to use this shadow stick from IT Cosmetics in the colour Passionate Pearl. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going to take the dark red colour again and shade in from the outer corner. I feel like the highlighter is a bit too white at the moment, so I'm going back to my other eyeshadow palette and choosing like a very light pinkish tone to then dab on top of where the highlight currently is. Okay, so that didn't really help, so I'm going to go and try a darker colour this time. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this now that I've added a darker pink on top of the highlight. I am actually going to um, use the red to go on the outer corners of my um, top eyelid. Time to start the eyeliner! So I have actually got a red eyeliner which I'm going to use for the bottom which will hopefully help emphasize the teary eyed July K look. The one that I'm using is this uh, bold waterproof liner by Barry M in the colour Cranberry. I'm going to use the same eyeliner to go over the dark parts, like the little thing underneath the highlight, just to emphasize the Namida Bukuro a little bit more. Because of all the red eye makeup that I've got going on, I'm going to use a black liquid liner to do the top lid, and I'm going to make like a really droopy eye look, even more so than the usual, um, that I usually, than the usual, than the usual that I do. I can't even get my words out. But it's gonna be droopier than what I usually do for my ghetto makeup. I'm gonna be using this one from NYX. I think it's called the Epic Liner, if it ever focuses properly. I do like this one, but it is very runny. Like, this could get messy. So wish me luck. Time to crack on with the mascara. Silly me, I forgot to tell you the mascara that I'm using. So it's this one from Too Faced and it's called Better Than Sex. And because we put on mascara earlier, it makes um, the lashes a bit clumpier therefore making them a lot more visible than they usually do. And this is especially important because in Jirai K they don't really wear uh, false lashes. I'm, I'm just so used to wearing false lashes in my Kyoto makeup that it's just a really weird concept not to wear them, especially with a face full of makeup. The blusher that I'm going to use is this one again by Revolution and in the shade Fickle. Actually, it would help if I open the lid so you can see the shade but it's this kind of colour. I'm not going to put too much, however, because I'm supposed to look like a vampire, but just enough to add some colour. Let's not forget the lips, so I'm going to put on some lip balm beforehand just to hydrate my lips a little bit before we move on to putting the lip glosses. Now, I've actually got two lippies to choose from, which I haven't really decided in between, but I got these um, from Shein from their She Glam uh, range, and they are both like a dark red color. I've just swatched them on my hand so there's not a lot, ignore the foundation patch, but there's not too much of a difference between them. Um, so this one, this one is, uh, 
the wake up call and then that one's level up. Level up is a bit more burgundy. So I wonder if maybe I should just go with wake up call. You know what, let's just go with wake up call. I am hoping to achieve more of a gradient lips kind of look. So I'm going to start off by putting this nude lip cream from NYX and this is the shade Cairo. Ooh, my camera battery is dying. So hopefully I can get to the end of this video before the, the battery goes. You know what, this lip cream isn't quite nude enough. So I am going to get my concealer just to do the outer edges. This is probably something that I should have practiced before doing this video, but hey okay, now that's a lot better. Let's crack on with the red color. So for this, I'm only going to put it on the very inner edges of my lips and then um, just blend it out. it looks like so far but I am now going to take a clear gloss to give it a little bit of a shine actually I don't know if that ruined it a little bit <laughs> Ta -da! that's that done oh I got it all over my teeth now that's attractive I got my outfit ready. So now it's time to crack on with the hair. I do actually have a necklace that I want to wear, but it kind of looks like this at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to detangle that. But yes, let's focus on the hair. As you can probably tell, I did some overnight curls. Not as curly as I usually do, but still curly. So let's take these out. So the hairstyle that I'm planning on doing is gonna be like those half up, half down kind of twin tails. And I'm kind of actually really annoyed because I ordered um, the cutest hair accessories that would have been perfect for this look, but they Aww. haven't arrived. So I'm gonna have to make do with something else. And that something else is probably gonna be this headband, which is obviously perfect for Amy's birthday theme. It's not ideal for Jedi K, but it'll work for the party. I managed to find a good part for this side of my face, but not the other side. Or maybe, should I just be chaotic and cut it? Like I'm, I'm so tempted just to go snip. <laughs> you know what, let's do it. Here we go. I have no idea what I'm doing, but yeah, at least we got two little bits, right? So in the past 20 minutes in real life and maybe two seconds in video life, I've been trying to, one, uh, find a different hair accessory uh, for this hairstyle and two, try to detangle those necklaces. Um, it hasn't been a great 20 minutes <laughs> to be honest. This video is... Uh, 
uh, well, I'm still going to post it. I'm still going to edit it because I think, you know, I might feel better in the future. But right now, I am not feeling this. Like, I am not really sure about how I look, but it's way too late to change. Like, my husband is preparing dinner right now and I've got to eat before we go out to Amy's birthday party. And, um, yeah. You know what? I'm trying something different. I'm trying something that I haven't really done before and I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone and now I know what not to do in future and that is to not do makeup without eyelashes <laughs> like it's just insane how much I rely on false lashes to just look and feel good and to do a whole makeup look like this that's quite heavy without it is a bit like e but I am forcing myself not to give in and not to cave and not to put on false lashes because this is it is what it is this is what it's supposed to look like like I said maybe in future I'll look back and be really satisfied with what I look like but at this moment I am not feeling great I am however going to show you the full outfit Ta-da! this is what I'm going to be wearing for the party so this dress is from Killstar and I just added this bow accessory because you see a lot of these kind of accessories in July K and then I'm wearing some frilly socks with these shoes which my feet keep slipping out of I need to find better shoes and that's it for this get ready with me video thank you ever so much for watching and I'm really sorry about how things turned out in the end but yeah I really would love to hear your thoughts about this and um maybe send some good vibes <laughs> I might film a little clip later because um Amy sent a little picture of what how she set things up for her party and it looks so cool so I might include some of that somewhere in this video. Anyway, thank you so much once again for watching this video and I just hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Love you, bye!